<laughs> Look how beautiful! me I'm like a little sweaty but um I'm in the car I'm about to run to Walmart I have to grab just a few things and I'm kind of feeling bummed um because I filmed an entire like cook with me <laughs> and I was so excited to share it because it like seemed like it was gonna be super good and I got it all done tasted it had my husband taste it and it just wasn't it, it just wasn't good so it was a complete waste um <sighs> that happens we're just gonna let that one slide for now <laughs> um but anyway I have to run and grab a few things coffee ice dog shampoo wood pellet wood pellets and ribs because we are having a cookout tomorrow night um <sighs> I'm kind of bummed but I also need to get gas because my car's on empty I'm out of coffee and this morning I went to Dunkin to get a coffee and it was good it just wasn't strong enough like usually they put a little bit more espresso in it and um I've been just busy all day like editing and working on back end stuff so it's just exhaust that type of work for me is very draining and like mentally exhausting so I just feel extremely tired right now um but I gotta go grab a few things so I thought I would go ahead and say hello welcome you guys to a new video um also tomorrow I don't know if I'll have time to do the whole bathroom but I'm painting the bathroom because I don't love it um oh my god <laughs> Stop it! You can't do that! <laughs> trip really wasn't too bad um, I was able to get all the kids school supplies done except for uh, primary composition notebooks I didn't even know what that was until I looked it up but it's like the kind that have like the dotted lines for the young little ones so I had to order those online but I got everything else so I'm feeling feeling good um, I have to run and get gas though because my car has 21 miles to go <laughs> this guy's looking mighty beautiful today Oh, there is a spider! Stop! Get out of there, dude. Today's not the day, sir. Hey, y'all. So it is now, um, today's Saturday. We are decluttering the house, organizing, cleaning. Dylan's working on the backyard right now, doing some weed eating. Our yard has been a disaster. So he's working on that. I have all the school supply stuff that I bought, um, I think it was on Thursday, laid out here. I need to separate that, separate for each child. Um, and back in here, I have been going through the kids' rooms. I went through Caden's room. I got rid of all this stuff for decluttering. I have a whole bag of trash. So we are on a roll. But um, that's what today is all about, just decluttering and stuff. I need to lay something out for dinner because I haven't done that yet. So need to do that also I got some paint samples in from a brand that I plan on working with soon so I want to try these out and see how they look the greens like a little bit too green for me online it looked a little more um, like a forest green 
So I don't know, we'll try and see, but I really like this one here, so. Hey guys, so it is a new day. We are ready to go thrifting again today. Um, I also have a few other errands to run, but I have a story to tell you guys. So yesterday I went to Home Depot and Lowe's and I went and priced out the materials I would need to build a DIY TV stand cabinet. I wanted it to be, you know, have plenty of storage, also hold a TV and be cute and I wanted to DIY it. So I went to I went to Lowe's first, priced it all out, it was way more expensive there. So then I went to Home Depot, got everything, got to the register, checked out, put everything in the back of the truck and before, when I checked out, like I knew I was adding stuff up in my head and this is where it gets tricky. When you are wanting to build like custom furniture or like DIY furniture, it can be wonderful and it can be very unique, but right now I feel like it's not even worth it. Um, is that worth it? <laughs> it was $400 for all the stuff that I bought yesterday. And when I got to thinking about it, I'm like, I could redecorate my whole house for $400. I could buy two to three pieces of furniture from a thrift store and make triple my money back if I was to DIY something and sell it. So I got to thinking about it and I was sitting in the truck and I was contemplating like whether or not I was gonna go for it and do it. I decided to return everything and start over. It was a complete waste of my day yesterday, but I learned my lesson. Always, always price check and add things up before you go to the store because even when you're in the store adding it up, it might not seem like a lot, but when you get to that register, then it's like, holy crap, like this is way too much money for a TV stand. I could buy a brand new one for half that price right now online. So, but we're gonna go thrifting today, see if we can find some cool furniture. I'm really just wanting to do a project. So let's go see what we can find. I'll bring you guys along. I hope you enjoy, let's go. Be perfect. Well, yeah. Sixty-nine. That's cool. I love this. Yeah. I like the frame. If you buy this, you can maybe use it for the camp and the playroom. The table? Yeah. This cute little table. Mm -hmm. Let's see how much this one is over here. This little guy. $100. Oh, shoot. Oh, look how pretty. Is that a fish tank? though either. I see. Well, you should buy this lamp for, for your living room. So you for my living room? Yeah, so you can so film it. Look how beautiful. Y'all, look at this thing. $700. Wow. Okay, let's go back this way. Okay. Let's see what we can find. Come on, guys. It's a small little console table. Don't like the glass. That would break. Look how cute these little matching beds. These would be really pretty just painted just solid white or all black. Okay, this bedroom set is so pretty. Three twenty nine. It's one ninety nine. This one twenty nine. I like that. Mama, why can't they sell this stuff? Well, because they don't want it anymore. Yeah. Oh. People bring stuff that they don't need anymore. 
like feathers and stuff, and then they say, well, oh yeah. Like then, this belonged to someone, but they didn't want it, so so they took all the Or uh, me and you. Oh, I like the way that looks. No. That's cool. Elephant rainbow with daddy, daddy and mom. Oh snap, okay, so that opens Smile. like that. I thought it was drawers, but it's actually, oh, that is drawers, okay. That one's drawers, that one's top. That one was $2.29, how much was this one? $1.69. This one's neat. I like that. That's pretty. Baby. That's beautiful. I love this stuff. It's a beautiful piece of art. Okay. Oh, let's get out of here. This is a beautiful table, too. Get down, bub. This one is 400 Hey everyone, so quick little update. I'm actually over at my brother and sister-in-law's house watching my nephews really quick. <laughs> I don't know if y'all can hear them. They're being really loud in there. They're playing. They built like a tent and stuff, but um, I'm watching them really quick and then when I leave here, I will be going back to that thrift store to grab one of those cabinets that I was looking at so I can start on a makeover for it. I'm really excited. I have a vision in my mind of what I want, and it's so hard to find a cabinet that fits what's, like, in my brain. <laughs> like, none of them really fit perfectly, but I'm going to make it work because I'm really excited, and I feel like the more I try to hunt for things, the less and less I'm finding and the more expensive things you're getting, so. Oh, my gosh. Hold on. All right, so after leaving my brother's house, I went straight back to the thrift store before they closed, and I went ahead and grabbed this cabinet. The reason I went ahead and got this one was because it was the cheapest they had, but also in the best condition. It was one of the ones that were right up front, so I'm assuming it was probably something new that they had just gotten in. And she actually gave me a discount. It was listed for $129, and she sold it to me for $100, bucks, which was perfect. And I'm going to go ahead and do a quick little makeover on this and bring it back to life. So originally when I had this idea in my head, I definitely wanted some type of wood design on the front, and I really wanted to try a herringbone style, um, but, you know, I'd never done it before, so the best way and the cheapest way for me to do this was to use the peel and stick wood tiles. So I grabbed a handful of these. I think I got a total of nine, but I ended up only using five because I did cut each individual tile in half just to make, you know, it go a lot further. So the great thing about these peel and stick tiles is they break apart really easy. So all you need is a razor knife to cut them. Um, and if when you cut down the seam, you can just bend it back and forth and it pops right off. So these will be perfect for a quick, easy floor makeover if you have like a small space that you want to redo or even a big space, I guess. Um, but these at Lowe's were a dollar. 78 a piece so they're really not too too bad um, which made this project super affordable by going this way versus buying wood um, because by the time you get the wood you cut it you stain it you're still going to spend so much more money than going this route plus the stain color of these particular tiles is just perfection I just love the way that these look it's the perfect amount of gray and brown so no matter what furniture you put it with it's always going to look good I'm going out with you tonight. Are you close to here? Mm -hmm. I'm feeling down. I don't know why. I know it's so surreal. Think I want you here. Oh. All right, so once I got them cut in half, I went ahead and cut and measured out a 45 degree anger. Ang oh my gosh. <laughs> it's like moments like this, do I leave that in the video or do I just like start over? <laughs> I cannot tell you how many times I've done this voiceover. 
Anyway, I cut an angle, and yes, that is sweat dripping, y'all. I am not kidding you when I tell you I get hot, and it is like 100 degrees here in Florida, so don't mind that. But once you cut your angle, then you can put the two tiles together, and it creates the beautiful herringbone design, and I put that straight down the front face of the cabinet, and I'll show you guys how I did that. All right, so I grabbed my tape measure and I measured out the center. I mark at the top and the bottom and then draw a line straight down the center. So that way when I put the tiles on, I have a guide to make sure everything stays nice and level. At this moment, I really wasn't sure if this was gonna work out. So that's why I left the cabinet doors on at the moment. I was just trying to kind of come up with an idea. Um, and then I realized that taking the cabinet doors off, laying them flat would be a lot easier to work with. So I will take the doors off in just a moment. Um, and it made the whole project go a lot smoother than trying to hold everything up like this. Okay, so I have to tell you, whenever I posted this little project on my community tab um, and asked y'all to guess what I was working on, y'all are just like amazing at coming up with the craziest, best ideas. Um, a lot of you thought I was doing something with my fireplace, an accent wall, flooring, you name it. Y'all had amazing guesses. Um, and I really wish I was doing something a little bit more extravagant than just adding a herringbone design to the front of a cabinet, but sometimes the smaller projects are just easier for me to work on at the moment and y'all know I have told you this a million times already but summertime has been busy with the kids I'm trying to work on smaller things that are less time consuming than big projects but once school's back in and things kind of get back on schedule I have lots of projects planned for the ranch house makeovers so don't worry I will definitely be working on those again I just needed a break for the summertime um, so thank you all for being understanding and supportive while I've been sharing like the smaller projects. <laughs> By the way, I wanted to mention it was not my intention to hype this project up. That really wasn't that big of a deal. And I'm sorry about that. I will be more mindful moving forward about how I share things because I would hate to like share something and get your hopes up and then it turn out to be something you're not interested in that you've been waiting for. So like I said, I'm sorry about that. I will be definitely more mindful moving forward. But I will say, this cabinet turned out pretty good and I'm really proud of it. I worked so hard on it and I was trying to be like a little perfectionist about everything and, and the cuts and the, I mean, if I messed up one time, I like redid it. I'm telling you, I was going to make this the fanciest, nicest cabinet that the ranch house had ever seen. <laughs> And then at the very end, I was like, I don't even know if I want to take it up there. It's so cute and so nice. So like I said earlier, if when you guys see the very end result, you'll have to let me know if you think I should keep it and take my old TV stand up there or if I should um, take this one and keep my old one. I would love to hear your thoughts. But anyway, once I got the hang of it, this, it moved pretty quick at this point and I was able to start getting all of the wood on the top. And then we're going to move on to the trim in just a minute. Okay, so as you can see, I got the faces on the, um, the doors, and I'm not worried about the edge. You can see it's all rough because I'm going to be putting this piece of trim here, 
and then caulking the seam along the side there so you won't even see it but I gotta cut these into angles so that way everything is nice and seamless and it should look super good okay so I decided to go to Lowe's and grab these miter snips holy moly they, they work so good you guys check out how smooth the cut is versus with my saw that was like chopping it up how crazy i'm so excited these are awesome okay at this point i'm taking some wood filler and filling in the little bit of the seam that was where the two pieces of tiles connected and then because the wood filler is a little bit of a lighter wood color i decided to take some antiquing wax just to kind of stain it and it worked really well i just rubbed it right over top of where I added the wood filler and it made it look like a dark colored grout. So it was a great inexpensive way just using what I had instead of buying more products. So if you are doing something like this, that's always an option. Um, and now I'm just kind of making sure all of my trim pieces are gonna fit, finishing cutting up some of these, and then I'm gonna start nailing them in. Oh, I was also gonna say, I tried gluing them. Um, you'll notice, I think it was the first cabinet. I tried gluing the trim first and then nailing it in, but because of the tile being, um, it has like a little finish on it, the glue just kept slipping around and I had more trouble trying to hold the trim in place with the glue than just nailing them directly in. So instead of gluing all of them, I just nailed them instead and they've held up fine so far. Um, by the way, these little snips are amazing. If you ever do like trim work, like small trim work, I definitely recommend getting some of these. You definitely have to have a pretty strong grip in order to close them, but it is best if you use two hands to pinch it together. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get my nail gun ready. I'm using the smallest nails I could find. I'm not even sure the size. And then I'm gonna go ahead and nail these in place. And I even left in the first mess up because I just had to show you guys. It doesn't always go as planned. So moments like that when you have a mess up, <laughs> don't panic. Just pull it off and start over. I cut a new piece of trim and try it again. This time going at more of an angle up towards the tiles. Um, I was pointing it too far down and I think it just kind of skimmed the wood and popped out instead of going in. So, you know, sometimes it's all about the way that you hold the nail gun in the angles. But if you ever have a moment like that, don't panic, just pull it off, start over again, change the angle a little bit, and usually things start going a little bit smoothly. And I didn't have any other issues at this point, um, but don't panic. Not all projects go smooth, so everybody, even some of the most seasoned DIYers have issues and projects that they fail at. So <laughs> don't worry and don't feel like you're alone because trust me, you're not.
All right, so once I got all the wood filler done, I went ahead and took some sandpaper and just gently sanded down the top, the front. Um, I say gently, but yet I'm putting like all my weight onto the sandpaper. I kind of sanded it down pretty good. I wanted to make sure that the paint adhered really well since this did have a higher sheen on this particular piece of furniture, so that's why I roughed it up a little bit. All right, so here are two different color options. I love both of them but I think I'm gonna go with this one just because it really pops right here with the wood tones when I go with the lighter color. With this one, it obviously pops, but not as much as it does with the lighter color and it just looks so good. So I'm gonna paint the whole thing with this chalk paint. Um, this is a Waverly chalk paint you can get from Walmart and this is called Urban Bronze. This is the same color I've been using up at the ranch house for other spaces, but my idea is Go with the lighter cabinet, paint the wall darker. Y'all let me know what you think, but this is what the Waverly paint looks like. It's called sandstone. After getting all the tape pulled off, I went ahead back in with some of that wood filler and added it to the spaces that needed it and then went over that with that antique wax to darken the wood filler up a little bit like I mentioned earlier and that just kind of creates like a dark grout look. Um, once that was finished, my husband did help me install the handles and we did have a tiny bit of an issue with one of them due to a lock being in the place that it was, but we just did the best we could. And this is what the cabinet looked when I first bought it. And this is what it looks like now. All right, so that is the finished cabinet. This cabinet is actually supposed to be up at the ranch house, but um, since it's not up there yet, I wanted to show you guys what it would look like styled in my house, and this is where I would put it. Um, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it or not, or if I should take it up there. I don't know yet, I haven't decided. It's beautiful, um, and either way, I still have to do the ranch house makeover, so something's gonna go up there, whether it's this cabinet or my old TV stand, but Thank you all for watching this thrift store shop with me and DIY. I appreciate all of you so much. Thank you for watching and being here for all my videos. I truly appreciate it, and I will see you all in my next one. Bye, y'all.